Hi, welcome to lesson 11. I'm Tim Albury from DMAD Marine Mammal Research Association and today we're going to be looking a bit more at the colour palette. We're going to look at some more built-in colour palettes that might be useful for topographical work through our digital elevation models and we're going to look at how to save those and also how we can look at using transparency to remove zero values so we don't get that ugly single colour um, around the edge of our data. The lesson for today's data can be downloaded at www.dmad.org.tr forward slash QGIS hyphen two hyphen lesson hyphen 11. Okay, in this lesson we're going to talk a bit more about our raster DEM. DEM is our digital elevation model, which is what we've got in front of us. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go to properties and I'm just going to show you a bit more about the color ramps. So last time we manually set our color ramp with color brewer. Um, what we're going to do this time is go to color ramp and then create new color ramp. And this time if we go to the catalog CPT dash city, then this gives us so many more options. So you can see by flicking through them, we have loads and loads and loads here, um, which are all useful for different things. Um, we also have one specifically for bathymetry, if we were doing this for our sea. At the moment, we're uh, looking at land data, so all of our sea data is just down as zero value or less. Um, so you can see we've got loads across here. I'm going to go down to topography because we've got a couple of topography options. Um, topography is what we're doing really. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this elevation one here that runs from sort of a light blue to a green, yellow, red, brown and white. And just click OK and click apply. And I'm relatively happy with this. It looks quite nice. Um, and it's relatively obvious what's going on here. However, I would rather that we didn't have this light blue color. So I'm just gonna change this one to uh, a really dark green color to sort of show our valleys and at the edge of our sea and things like that. And then I'm just going to turn this one to a bit of a lighter, greeny sort of yellow colour. Just because that matches with what I want to show. And once we've got this and we're sort of happy, I'm relatively happy with this. It shows our dark greens of the valleys and lakes and things going up to our orange and dark browns for the mountains. And then finally, um, We've got the white just to show the very peaks of our mountains. And you can play around with these to see whatever you need. And um, once we've done this, we can just press save and create a color map with, uh, yeah, create, create a file name, something that you might find useful. So say topo colors or something like that. And if you save that, then it's always going to be there for when you need it next. So I can now just go to say greens. <laughs> oh, I decide I don't like that one so much. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up my topo colors and it's right there and I can go straight back to it. And it's as simple as that. So that's really quite a powerful thing that we can use. So that's the first thing I wanted to look at in today's lesson. The second thing is we've got all this data in the dark green here which is a zero value um, so you can see that our our cutoffs are minus four going to 589 straight away so we've got all this data around the zero mark which is just showing nothing um, and that's fine and if we if we just had the data here obviously we've got our sea here well not obviously for people that don't know Montenegro but this is the coast 
uh, running from sort of the northwest to southeast. Uh, so this area would be C. However, this area here is actually um, Croatia and Bosnia, and then Albania and Kosovo and Serbia. So these aren't zero values, we just don't have any information for this. So what we can do is if we right click and go to properties, and then if we go to below symbology to transparency, we can just, we haven't got a no data value. So what we can do is we can just add a no data value of zero. And that means every value that's zero or less is just gonna be removed. So what we do now, once we've got the zero, we just press add and you can see we've got 100% transparency. Click apply and you'll see that we have now got our zero, um, all of our zero values are clipped. Okay. Okay. So now if I come back to our symbology, open up my topo colors, click apply, click OK, and perfect. We've now got Montenegro with um, a map which really sort of resembles the country quite well. So you can see we've got our first range of mountains just by the sea. So this is Mount Rumir here. Um, then we've got the big Skadar Lake uh, going off to the other mountains in the north and the east. Okay, so that's it for today's lesson. Um, in tomorrow's lesson, we're going to look at using the raster calculator for the first time. I'll see you then.